This week on At Your Leisure, we're getting out on the trail to show off all the fun and adventure you can find riding the Paiute Trail. Then, Reese Stein is back, and this time he's showing off a country with infinite beauty and spectacular views as he visits the New Zealand wilds. Finally, Chad and I take you as close to Bryce Canyon as you can get on ATV. So grab your map. And you can see the world. At Your Leisure is next. In tourism lingo, they call this the shoulder season. In off-road riding season uh, language, we call this the best time of year to go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rio Rossi Booth, and we are in the magnificent Garfield County. We have some of the best peeps for riding with us today. I mean, we've got, uh, we got Chris Howler, who is Mr. OHV for the state of Utah from State Parks humble as he may be <laughs> and then we've got joe orman who is almost like an at your leisure regular because anytime we need yeah. to make sure we're not lost down here joe's who we call we go hey joe and then he shows up <laughs> Thanks, and then joe. and then running tail gunner today we've got waylon who uh, is who is the discreet uh, trail runner because he's all in camo and we might lose track of him. And He'll so just his hide. beautiful wife is here just kind of hanging with him so he doesn't get lost. It, it's, it's, <laughs> that's it. So we're all out here for a great ride. Now we are on our way to a place called Powell Point and this is a trail that I never knew about until uh, we did a county seat thing with the congressional delegation and I said man we got to come back. I got talking to Chris Howler and I said have you ever ridden this before? And he said no. So we're going to rely on Chris to give us his impressions of the trail today. And of course, Joe, he's the one who will get us there and back safely. So uh, also not with us right now is Jerry Taylor, who grew up in this area. He's a county commissioner from Garfield County. And he's going to kind of fill us in on what this area is all about. Powell Point, if, if anywhere down around here, it's, it sticks out. It's a high point in Garfield County. Um, and. And once you're up on Powell Point, you can see forever. You can see Navajo Peak from up at Powell Point. You can look over to the Henry Mountains. Uh, you can see for, for literally hundreds of miles. It's a great ride because you don't have to go in and out on the same road. You can go in one way and out another way. Uh, there's just a lot of things you can do at, at Powell Point. And, and the scenery is spectacular. Garfield County, you can go from the the uh, red rocks, the you know, down in the valleys, the, the low valleys to uh, the high, high mountains of, say, Powell Point or Boulder Top. It's amazing the diversity that we have in Garfield County, the things that you can do and the places that you can see for any ATV riding or, or even mountain biking. It's a great place to hike. It's a great place to, to bring your horses and ride your horse. You start out in a valley full of sagebrush, and once you get into that pink clay and right up into the pines, and then you get up to where you can just see forever. It's amazing as you go along that uh, east side, uh, once you climb up into the saddle, the saddle between Johns Valley and the Escalante Valley, there's some nice bare ridges there that you can look for literally hundreds of miles. Well, what a beautiful sight! Who is that guy? <laughs> you can't trust these state park guys. Yeah, I know, I know. See you, Chris. Well, what a, <laughs> we'll catch what up a, with you. What a beautiful sight it is. Jerry was right. It's really gorgeous up here. Oh, it's spectacular. We're really we're inching our way up this trail, and it honestly, this this yellow just opens up as you're coming up, and it's it's a beautiful, beautiful trail. I can't believe that Har photobombed us. I do. He does it all the time. <laughs> Anyway, we do have to get going because we've got to hit Powell Point and get back before we run out of sunlight. It's time for you to go to our where to. Sandwiched between Monroe Mountain and the Tusher Mountains, Marysvale, Utah is a small town with big surprises. Although it may just seem like a place to stop briefly and fill up on gas, the town plays host to one of the longest and most beautiful trail systems in the entire state, the Paiute Trail. 
Exploring this beautiful area from Marysvale is one of the best ways to enjoy it. So Marysvale is really central to the Paiute Trail System. You can access almost any trail on the Paiute Trail System from Marysvale. So it's a, really, it's, a ba it's a really good base to go where you can branch out to all of the different trails that, that intake the Paiute Trail System. We have awesome weather, we have awesome places to bring your trailer, we have awesome motels and lodging event, camping, we have campers, we have cabins, we have lots of VRBOs that you can rent, homes that you can rent and stuff. So bring your truck, bring your machines, bring your bikes, bring whatever you have, fishing poles, we have it for you to use. Those who travel on parts of the Paiute surrounding Marysvale are blown away by the experiences they have, whether it be from the sheer beauty, pristine mountainscapes, or diversity of sights you can see on the trail. We start out in sagebrush and you get up into the pines. Oh, you can smell the quakies and, and the pines. And then we got into the where the, bar, the burn scar was up there from last year. And that was pretty interesting on how they're taking care of that and managing it. Very beautiful. Uh, scenic, uh, the lake up there was really, uh, the, the lake up there was really cool. We went up there two years ago and had lunch at it and it was just the fall colors were beautiful at the first of October. Um, the colors are all gone because the leaves are gone. It's really cool, it was really nice up there. I think, uh, you know, the, the beautiful views they have, I mean, you're looking across from the Monroe over the Tusher Mountain and you could even get a glimpse of the Dutton Mountain, I believe, there on that trail. So, yeah, it's just a beautiful ride, beautiful area. The trails were not too difficult, not too scary, uh, venturous, just got into some snow. That was the beautiful part was the snow. Great all the way around. Couldn't ask for anything better today. Great weather, great friends. If you're looking for an excuse to get out and enjoy the Paiute Trail and Marysvale to the fullest extent, then you're in luck. There are three Jamboree events that happen all throughout the riding season that will help make you a Paiute Trail veteran. We run three series, the Adventure Trail Series. We do a puppet pair run the Saturday before Father's Day. Then we have the Paiute Trail Jamboree that we host in August. It'll be August 11th through the 14th. And then we'll do the Howl the last Saturday before Halloween. And you know what? They're all really awesome rides. Father's Day, the puppet bear is a spring ride. It's usually the first ride you get out there. We break through the trails and through the snow. The snow's melted by then. And then our Jamboree is a great time, a great four days worth of fun just riding in the trails. We have 14 rides, guided rides that we send people on that they can choose from. And, and then we out the Halloween Howl's a good scare. We have lots of fun at the Howl. Even just one visit to Marysvale is enough to fall in love and keep coming back every season. From there, the Paiute and its 275 miles of trail are waiting for you, and it's sure to make an adventure you won't soon forget. For At Your Leisure and this week's Where To, I'm Nick Chase. Yes, the great outdoors is wide open, so why not make the most of it? Expand your family's freedom with the off-road's best, like the only built-in GPS that doesn't require a cell connection, and group tracking that lets you spread out and stay together. Upgrade your ride for as little as $5 a day. Polaris, think outside. Sick of staying home? Getting outside and exploring great open spaces is now more important than ever. Spend your summer exploring Tula Valley, where there is so much so close. Plan your escape now at TulaValley.org. The Old West is still alive in Jueb County. Stories of the past are hidden in the desert mountains. 
From relics of mining history to places of outlaw mystery, tall tales to be discovered, and buried treasure to be uncovered. Juab, the key county of Utah. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Anthony Lujan with Smoke Ain't No Junk Barbecue. Today we're gonna to be cooking some Yardley Premium Beef Ribeyes, so let's get going. So what I'm gonna to do to prep these ribeyes here is there's big chunks of uh, fat here. I'm gonna cut those off just because they don't render down when you cook. I'm just gonna trim it up just a little bit, get those big chunks of fat off. It's okay to leave some on there, but you don't want big, thick, solid pieces because it won't cook through and it won't render down properly. Got these ribeyes looking real nice there. And I'm gonna use two rubs today. I'm gonna to use Big Papa Smoker's uh, Cash Cow Beef Rub. And I'm also gonna be using Swine Life's Mississippi Grind. Um, this is more your salt, pepper, garlic flavoring, and then this is kind of around the same, but it has a little bit more paprika in there, a little bit more red to make the meat really pop. All right, and we're gonna start off with the cash cow here, and we're just gonna apply this on real nice and thick. Flip it over to the other side. We're gonna come over the top with some of the Mississippi grind. It's gonna add us some nice reds. And these are available at, at any of your local barbecue stores. If not, you can find them online as well. There we go, and then we're gonna let that sit there for about 10, 15 minutes while our grill gets hot. Um, we want this to almost look translucent where we can't see any of the dryness of the rub anymore. So we just want that to just kind of soak in and penetrate the meat. We'll be right back and we'll get those on the grill. All right, guys. Um, we got our rub that's been sitting on these steaks for about 15 minutes or so. Um, as you can see that it, the rubs kind of penetrated the steak, so we're going to put those on a really hot grill. I got my grill cranked up to 450 degrees. We're going to put a nice little sear on both sides of them, and then we're actually going to turn down the grill to let them finish cooking out. So we're going to put these on here, let them get a nice little sizzle going. We'll let those cook for about two minutes and then we'll flip them over and then let them take um, idle all the way home. Alrighty guys, it's been about two minutes. Let's give these a quick little flip, get a little sizzle on the back side. Now we're just gonna put our heat probes in and we're gonna look for our target temperature at 135. All right guys, our steaks have been on there for maybe about 45 minutes or so. Um, let's pull them off. I checked the temp and we're right at target temp at 135 to 140. So here they are. Then we're down here and then we'll let them rest for just a few minutes before we cut into them. All righty guys, we've let these rest here for about five minutes or so. Let's cut into them and taste one. Perfect flavor. Still can taste the beef with the other flavor profiles built up there. Spot on, perfect medium. And that's how you do a ribeye steak. All right, guys, if you want to get your hands on some Yardley Premium Beef Ribeyes, go to the website below. My name is Anthony Lujan. We'll be right back with At Your Leisure. Reason number five to spend the night in Duchesne County. Enjoy an evening in the countryside with a stay at the Mountain Home Lodge bed and breakfast. That's the perfect base camp for all your mountain adventures. Just a short drive from the Yellowstone ATV trailhead and surrounded by world-class fishing that really gets you away from it all. Discover all the other reasons to spend the night in Duchesne County at uintabasin.org. Hey honey, have you seen this tire? Do you think we'll make it? Not on that thing. Don't let bad tires ruin your trip. With service stations at every location along I-15, we can get you back on the road with fast, friendly, professional service. Eagle's Landing has everything you need along the way. Even the things you didn't know you'd need. Get ready for the road at Eagle's Landing. Dear 
Good Diary. We went camping for our vacation on Tusher Lake. We did so many fun things. You know, I learned something on this trip. Camping on Tusher Lake is way more fun than any old mouse in an amusement park. Make Marysvale your hub for adventure. Nestled in the Tusher Mountains with direct access to the Paiute Trail. Explore history from Miner's Park to Butch Cassidy's Cabin while blazing trails from mountain peaks to the shores of Otter Creek. All right, Rhea, I've been waiting all day to say this, so what do you think? I think it's spectacular. Garfield County never disappoints, not one time. <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are on our way to Powell Point. We've come almost to the point where it's time to end riding and start walking. It's a footpath the rest of the way there. Oh, I'm so excited. This is spectacular. Even though there's a little bit of smoke in the air, it's still amazing. Yep. Yeah, so how'd you find out about this? Well, remember a, a couple of months ago, in fact, I invited you to go on this. The congressional delegation, Senator Romney, Senator Lee, uh, uh, Representative McAdams, they were all coming down here. Right. Well, I was for the county seat, and this is where they took us. I went, holy cow, I never knew this was here. What a beautiful treat that must have been for everybody. This is spectacular. Yep. Yeah. So, like, if you want to find out about this, go to our outsiders.zone, and you can check out everything that we've been talking about today. And the, and the third, how do you find out about it? Well, let's find out a little bit about Outsider.Zone. We have over 80,000 miles of trail. We work very, very closely with our federal partners, which include the United States Forest Service and the Bureau of Land Management. We also work with state agencies known as the School Institutional Trust Lands and to a lesser degree the Division of Wildlife Resources on access through some of their managed properties to for trail connections. And probably one of our, our strongest partners in order to make those connections occur are 29 counties. Because those rural economies are economically dependent upon motorized recreation, you can ride from Sheet Creek all the way down to the Utah-Arizona border without being street legal. That was a major hurdle. People will need to do their research work, and that's why one of the great items that we've gone into public-private partnership with is Trail 360 because it allows people to look at those sections or even plan out a five or six day trip. Um, we've also really tried to market those state park to state park connections. Uh, for example, you could play a round of golf at, at Palisade uh, and then ride over the mountain and then go boating at uh, Millsite. There's a, a lot of, of great opportunities that exist for people and the off-highway vehicle program, along with its partners, has done a tremendous job of offering up a lot of diversity uh, for enthusiasts. You know, with so many opportunities to ride and all of that pre-planning information at your fingertips with Outsiders.Zone, there's no reason for you not to be here or some other equally exciting place next weekend. That's right. Right now, we're going to hike up to Powell Point while you go to our Along the Way. All right, let's get walking. All righty. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure, along the way in New Zealand, a country of infinite beauty, spectacular scenery, and a million things to see and do. And about as far away from Utah as you can get. Queenstown is New Zealand's high adventure capital. Here on this very bridge in 1988, A.J. Hackett invented bungee jumping with the world's first commercial site. Two of our group opted for Hackett's smaller bungee with a breathtaking view of Queensland's downtown and main harbor. Sarah Sheeds, a fearless Texan, is 75 years old. Three, two, one, go Sarah, big jump! <laughs> It's wonderful, yeah, you should well, try yeah. it. It's the initial thing that's kind of scary, but once you take off, you don't feel anything. It's just 
over in a second. And because of her advanced youth, they waived the $140 fee. Perched at the end of New Zealand's longest lake, Queenstown is a mecca for all sports water, from exhilarating jet boating to kite sailing to the bizarre hydro attack, your personal submersible jet ski. Or you may opt for the leisurely cruise on a century-old vintage steamship. We chose to visit an iconic lakeside sheep station to learn how to shear wool and watch wonderful dogs in action. From the many forest preserves to spectacular gold sand beaches, New Zealand is a nature lover's paradise. If hiking, or tramping as the Kiwis call it, scratches your itch, a 37-mile-long Abel Tasman National Park coastal track is perfect, one of New Zealand's designated great walks. We bite off a four-mile stretch through dense woodlands, highlighted by the crossing of the 150-foot-long swinging bridge over a nerve-wracking 60 feet above Falls River. There's even a place to cool off along the track. We come out at Torrent Bay, where you can hop in a kayak, go for a swim, maybe grab some lunch. Being from Utah, we've hiked in the forest, but this was like a jungle forest. A lot of ferns, a lot of trees that we haven't seen before, and it was beautiful. Before Maori and Europeans changed everything, New Zealand looked like this. Mangatatari Mountain is 8,000 acres of historic vegetation. All non-native critters, including rats, weasels, pigs, possums, have been removed, and they're kept out by an incredible 37-mile-long pest-proof fence that circles the entire preserve. We're treated to the antics of endangered kawas, the native parrot, and kararu, the island's only wild pigeon. Mangatari Mountain is as close to pre-human New Zealand as any place. What's the significance of this place? Everything. Likewise, Tiri Tiri Montagi is a Garden of Eden. No need for a fence here. It's a tiny island, isolated and pest-free. A sanctuary for native birds nearly eradicated by human use, including the stitch bird or hihi in Maori, found only on these remote islands. And some 200 of the once thought extinct takihi, and a monster grasshopper called a weta. All the trees, including native Nikau, the world's southernmost palm, have been reintroduced. Back on New Zealand's South Island, California redwoods tower 250 feet above this trail, imported over 100 years ago to test for their commercial viability. They're now protected as the Memorial Redwood Grove. Bay of Islands on New Zealand's northern tip is a spectacular natural harbor of 144 islands. Settled by Maori 700 years ago, Captain Cook, Charles Darwin, and the country's first permanent European settlers are among notable visitors to this tourist haven. We visited New Zealand in January before the pandemic closed New Zealand's borders to foreign travelers. But when it reopens, the country will again offer unlimited delights. Free Stein with Marianne along the way in New Zealand. Isn't it time to slow down? To enjoy the view. To get some space. And to social distance. There's no better place to be than on the trails. Visit TooilaCountyTrails.com for your next adventure. Coming down into the little valley and stuff, you can look over the whole thing. For me, I can just feel the, the stress just kind of melt away. There's so many trails to go up on and, and explore. The desert, and then you've got the lake, you got the mountains. It's just a little bit of everything. It's a little piece of paradise out here. Pretty much anybody that I've brought up here, they will ask, can we come back? At Stedman's Recreation, trucks are arriving daily 
with back-ordered side-by-sides, ATVs, and dirt bikes. Let Stedman's Recreation help get you outside so you can explore and create memories to last a lifetime. Call or stop by Stedman's to hold your side-by-side, ATV, or dirt bike with a small deposit. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, and Beta. Plus, Stedman's has a full service department and Honda power equipment. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We uh, have made it. This is Powell Point. Now, if you know, you see that three-quarter mile hike, if your hips, your knees, your feet allow it, it is worth taking the hike out here because you can walk a quarter mile and kind of see some red rock, but you cannot get this 360 panorama of this beautiful and wild land. Yeah, it, this is a spectacular point. I mean, you really do feel like you're on top of the world out here. It's, it's breezy and it's beautiful. And it's something I think everyone should see at least once. Right. Um, and you do have to hike back because if you take the shortcut, not, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, it's like, it takes like 10 seconds to get down, I bet. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, listen, we have had so much fun today traveling with Chris Haller from the uh, Off-Highway Vehicle Program. Chris is just always full of information and fun. He's great to hang out with. Yeah. Um, and, and our whole entourage has been a lot of fun. Obviously, people are excited about seeing this, but uh, there's one person out there that's going to be very excited in about 30 seconds. Absolutely. Let's go see who our sticker winner is this week. This week's contest winner was spotted around town sporting their AYL sticker and its license number T121H. Congratulations. It looks like you're the lucky winner of a Mountain Series stove from our friends at Camp Chef. Camp Chef offers the best way to get your cooking done in the outdoors. Visit CampChef.com for more details. Make sure you call us Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim that prize. Now let's take a look at this week's Trail of the Week. This week's Trail of the Week is the Casto Canyon 50-inch OHV Trail. It's located in Garfield County, about 12 miles east of Panguitch. To get more information for this or any of the other trails that have been completed on the Trail 360 project, visit Outsiders.Zone. Now let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Kevin and Gina are taking their kids out for some fast-paced and relaxing fun as they spend the day ziplining at the Mystic River Adventure. I'd say exhilarating. <laughs> then Reese Stein is showing off an area that might be known for its world-class skiing, but he's here to tell you it's a year-round paradise for nature lovers. Finally, Anthony Lujan is back. This time, instead of showing off how to cook a meal, we get to follow his adventure of competition as we get a behind-the-scenes look at a one-of-a-kind chili cook-off. Next week's show looks great. And the only way it could look any better is if we brought a TV out here and sat on this cliff at sunset watching at your leisure. Oh, heaven, heaven. <laughs> Just remember, there is adventure around every bend, and we've discovered a lot of them today. You just got to get out there and create your own OHV adventure. At your leisure. We need to go find the rest of the group. They could leave without us. We'd be lost. That'd be so, that wouldn't be so bad.